All right. What's up? So, I think I figured out what I kind of want to do with this whole Minecraft series. Minecraft can be like typically like not typically, but for the people watching it, sometimes like, that's a fucking thing. I'm trying to talk, Rain. You stupid motherfucker. Okay. So Minecraft can be. Uh, for people watching, it can be boring without like a super entertaining person. Maybe I'm not that entertaining. Probably not. Maybe not. I don't know. So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna talk about stories. So each video, I'm gonna give you a new story of something that happened to me, or like just something that happened to me in my life. So you kind of get to know me, and then. You can comment on this video. I'm gonna read all the comments and see. Maybe you want like a different conversation topic, maybe, or if no one says anything, maybe I'll just next video I'll just say different things about myself, probably. Hopefully, someone watches this video though. That'd be cool. At least one person. I didn't make it for no reason, right? I'd like people to watch. It. All right. Anyways, what should we do today? Oh yeah, where we're gonna build a house. But it's fucking raining and it's super loud. Let's lower the game volume, right? Isn't that smart? Yeah, that's why I'm in college, so whatever. <laughs> Sound volume. Okay. I should begin. Today I'm gonna talk about a vacation. Uh, should I talk about that? Yeah. I'm gonna talk about a couple things. Like um, today's topic is gonna be like different vacations I went on. It's still super fucking loud. Okay. Probably not gonna be here when you hear it. Yeah, that's still pretty fine. All right, so fuck. All right, let's. Um, the first vacation I'm going to talk about is I went on this cruise. To I'm not making this story up, by the way. This is completely true. <laughs> you can ask my mom, <laughs> or my dad, or my siblings, but you don't know who the fuck they are, so you can't ask them. So I went on vacation to, fuck, I can't, it's hard to think and think, think about the story and think about Minecraft at the same time. Do I have wood? I do. Give me some fucking sticks. That's not sticks. Okay. <sighs> fuck, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to do that. I will start the story momentarily. I apologize. Come on. Okay, anyways. So I, when me and my family, we went on a cruise. This was, I haven't really gone on that many vacations in my life. But we used to go on vacations. I guess maybe it was easier when we were all young and stuff. I haven't gone on a vacation well in high school I went on like a school vacation or a school trip I, we went to Italy I'll tell you about that later though that was also actually a really awesome trip probably because I went with my prom date so that was pretty awesome but uh yeah so this cr uh first vacation I ever went on or that I remember at least I uh, went on a cruise to Mexico, Jamaica, and the Cayman Islands. I don't know where the Cayman Islands are. I don't remember what happened there. Like, I was 10 when I think we went on this cruise. So, I don't really remember um, in detail of, like, where each thing happened. But there were, there were some great cool things that happened. Most of the cool things that happened were in Jamaica. 
and Cozumel, Mexico. We went to Mexico first. So in Mexico, my mom's not the most uh, adventurous type. So my sister and my dad, my sister is three years older than me. So she was 13 or 14, depending on the time of year. Um, which it was summer. So she was probably, yeah, she was probably 14. Yeah. Okay, and um, my dad and my sister, we, they went on a vacation. Uh, what the fuck am I saying? Oh my god, I'm so bad at talking right now. They went on a uh, scuba diving trip, but a scuba diving trip of, I don't know what you call it, trip, a dive, scuba diving dive, which um, I don't really know how legal it was because she was only 13 and she wasn't certified for scuba diving in the United States, so I don't know how legal it was. My dad was certified because, oh fuck, that scared the shit out of me, holy shit. I hate fucking spiders, I mean, it's not spider skeletons. You fucking bitch. So they went on a scuba diving dive my dad was certified because my mom, before they got married, right after they got married, they used to do like a bunch of adventurous stuff, but after they got married, she kind of stopped, which, and she had kids and stuff, I don't blame her. But anyways, my dad was certified, my sister wasn't though, so I don't know if that's legal, maybe I guess in Jamaica it was, right, or maybe it still wasn't, they just did it anyways. But, yeah, so... They went scuba diving, and while they were doing that, my mom was pregnant. Uh, was she pregnant? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was pregnant with my younger brother than me, not youngest brother, Thomas. And she, yeah, so she was just chilling on the beach, I guess, because she was pregnant. And my, uh, my other brother didn't exist yet. My youngest brother didn't exist yet, so he wasn't doing anything. That's a weird thought, actually. Thinking of someone who, like, when they didn't even exist, like, what what were they? Did they even... They're just nothing. Isn't that weird? Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. Imagine one of your siblings, if you do have a sibling, or your child, maybe, or your father. No, I probably not your father. You can't. It's definitely hard to think about. But <laughs> before they were born, when they just was nothing. Like, this person that you've known your whole life just was nothing. That's weird. Anyways, he was nothing. He still is kind of nothing. He's kind of a shithole. But I'm just kidding. <laughs> if he sees this, he's going to fucking be mad at me. Fuck you. So my mom was pregnant on the beach, and she uh, was just like wasn't really paying attention to me. And I was snorkeling. I was like, you know, looking at all the fish. And I think, like, the water in this was Mexico. I think, right? Yeah, I told, I said that already. Anyways, the water in Mexico is like super, super like clear. Like you can see everything. And I'm from uh, Long Island originally, so. My, uh, the water up there is not clear at all. Like, you can't see anything in the ocean. But we went to Mexico, and the water is crisp, crystal clear. You can see, like, <laughs> like fucking miles, honestly, in water. So, um, I don't, there was, like, this, um, in the water, there was, like, this, uh, this, like, wreck. But I think they put it there on purpose. To try to make it look cool and like have fish live there, there's like this boat wreck. But I'm pretty sure they just did that on purpose. They like, maybe they, I don't know if they wrecked an actual boat. My memory of it's not that strong, so I don't remember how realistic it looked. I was 10, so it probably did look pretty realistic. But anyway, so there was, you know, I would go there and it would just be a bunch of fish swimming there. And then I come across this um uh well what's in the ocean what to be scared of obviously a shark 
but it, I so like as a ten year old, like I freak out. I start swimming as fast as I can, and my mom's just um, chilling on the beach. I think she was on her cell phone or something, and I I sprint back to her and I say, um, "Oh my god, mom! Like there was a shark out there," and um, she didn't really give give a crap. I think she thought she probably thought I didn't really actually see a shark or whatever. Maybe. Um, I don't know what she thought actually. I shouldn't put words in her mouth, but I did see a shark. Or at least my memory thinks I saw a shark. And um, what was I saying? Like, what am I? What was my end goal of this first part of the story? Okay, uh, well, all right. So I saw a shark. What am I doing? I gotta build this house. Now I need some food. Um, I sprint back to my mom, and she doesn't believe me like at all. And so I go over to this, uh, like, I guess he maybe was a scuba instructor and stuff. And more of the story is, like, this shark that I was like super afraid of and everything. It turns out it's what charcoal. No, I just re wasted a bunch of wood fuck it turns out the shark was like i don't know like a sand shark or something or a lemon shark or something like that and they don't even like they're not aggressive towards humans at all or something like that i don't forget i don't remember what type of shark it was but yeah and so also at mexico there was like this cool zoo that we went to after we went to we're at the beach where there was like this little zoo and stuff and it was like the regulations there were like nothing like there was monkeys just jumping everywhere and stuff like that <laughs> it was pretty awesome like you just like were like with the animals kind of <laughs> yeah so it was cool though it was definitely really cool i have no bed and i haven't seen a sheep but i haven't really looked so I promise these stories get better. Um, okay. I think we're going to do like 12 by 10 or something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Fuck you. You fucking got me, you stupid bitch. Fuck you. So, next part of the story is we went back on the cruise ship, obviously. And the next stop was uh, Mexico. No, we just came from Mexico. Can't go back to Mexico. Oh, you could go a different side of Mexico. Um, it's, I'm like just realizing how hard it is to talk and like think about something else at the same time. All right. So we went to next stop is Jamaica now. So in Jamaica, we uh, it was actually really cool. Jamaica was pretty beautiful. Like the area that we were in was like the tourist area. Apparently, like if you go off the tourist area, it's kind of a sketchy place. Like it's kind of dangerous and stuff. Apparently, I don't know. Didn't go off the area. And so in in Jamaica, what we did, like each stop you went. Each stop we went to, we went to Cozumel, Mexico, Jamaica. I don't know what part. Ah, uh, fuck. You. Um, and then we went to what islands did I say before? Caribbean? No. Cayman, Cayman Islands. Don't know where they are. I've heard. I just. I don't know. 
so each stop we went to we stayed there for like a day sometimes two days or something like that Jamaica we we were there for a day or actually we were no we were there for two days but we were in two different parts of Jamaica so the first part of Jamaica we were in had like this really cool um, they called it a waterfall but it wasn't really a wa fuck it wasn't really a waterfall um, it was more like a stream that went upwards kinda it was like a vertical more vertical stream than usual I guess you could say I don't know but they called it a waterfall anyways and so you would walk up this waterfall and like as a 10 year old me and my dad would were doing that and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever for some reason and so we did it a bunch of times my sister while we were doing that was getting her hair braided or like you know like beads in it or whatever you know like the traditional like thing to do on a vacation you know girls get their hair did and so as I was going up the waterfall a bunch of times my uh, dad got tired of it and so he just let me alone and then um, he uh, he told me that it was time to go that like we had to go back we had to start going back to the boat and it was like from the from where we were at the waterfall to the back to the dock where the boat was I think it was like maybe half hour 45 minute drive bus ride so you took like a pub public bus I think it was a public bus maybe it was no it was definitely a public bus so we took the public bus um, back to the boat and in Jamaica obviously well, at the time now this is actually a thing recently because of Obama but you like you used to not be able to get Cuban cigars from in the United States because they were illegal because trading with Cuba was illegal because it was like the embargo or whatever so like you know my dad's is like a cigar smoker occasionally not even anymore though but he was um, so like if you had Cuban cigars it was like a big deal or whatever like you'd have and so he wanted to stop somewhere and get Cuban cigars before we went home and so he asked like the bus driver um, if we had time to for that and like you know he told him we had to be back at the boat say we had to be back at the boat at like four o'clock and it was there was a clock on the bus that said three mm, three forty five or something three thirty maybe so we had to be back at the boat then so yeah we had to be back at the boat at four so we uh blah, blah, blah. so the bus driver says yeah we got plenty of time in and he said like because it was, it was only us on the bus so the bus driver's like yeah we could stop for cigars it's no big deal and uh so the, like the, i guess the bus driver was just doing some um just being nice I guess maybe he was like a private bus now that I think about it he might have been like a private bus for the ferry ferry ugh, cruise ship um fuck you <laughs> I say fuck a lot but fuck it I like to say it um anyway so my dad makes not makes but asks the bus driver to stop for his cigars and he does so my dad gets his cigars which he's allowed to bring on the boat for some reason I don't know exactly why or what the reason he would be able to would be but um so back up a little bit he uh, gets the cigars and then um, gets the cigars we stop at the cigar place he gets the cigars and when we get back on the bus then we do like last five minutes of the drive back um, to the dock and the clock on the boat says like we're, we're late for the boat 
we're not late, but we're running late. So it's like 355, 350 probably. And the boat leaves at 4. Or he has to be back at least for 4. So we get there. We get to the dock. And we're like, I think my sister, it was my sister that looked out. Um, oh, shit. I told this whole story wrong. I'll, I'll get to that later, though. So my uh, sister is the one that noticed that the whole boat is... Um, fuck. The whole boat left without us. Like she, she, like she's like. Uh, my parents were like were like, "Where's our boat? Why? That's weird." And she, my sister looked out the window, and saw it. She was like, "Mom, mommy, isn't that a, the boat?" Fuck this dude. Oh, I don't have any shit. 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 Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So my sister notices that the boat's like probably two miles. Fuck you. Probably two miles away. Maybe a mile to two miles away. Already left. Because it turns out on the, uh, on the bus, the time we use on the boat is different than the time we used on the bus. The bus was local Jamaican time. And for some reason, the boat was on different time. So if we were supposed to be back four o'clock boat time. And we thought it was just, we didn't know that there was a difference between, because in Mexico, they didn't use a different time. I don't know why, I don't remember exactly why the reason was. But we, uh, how far do I have to go down to reach this shit? Probably like right here. So, fuck, what was I saying? I'm so bad at telling stories. I don't know why I picked to tell stories during this, but I think it's more entertaining than me just like being like, ooh, I'm gonna get some cobblestone, I'm gonna do this, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's more entertaining, maybe not. Maybe these are stupid stories and no one will listen, but I'm gonna do it anyway, so fuck you. Just kidding. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, the bus, the bus. Yeah, the bus time, the clock on the bus was way different than, an hour different than the boat time. And I don't, for some reason, we were the only ones that did not, give me this, did not know that. Actually, we weren't the only ones, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um. So, whenever I open my inventory, I always stop telling the story. I gotta get better at that. <sighs> okay. Um, so, we pull up to the dock, and there's no boat. We see it two miles out, and we call the harbor captain. We tell the harbor captain what happened and stuff, and so he calls... The, the cruise ship, the boat, um, and tells them what happened. Like that we're left there and stuff. So they say, well, we can't turn back now. We're on a schedule. We can't just turn around just for like, we were, how many people at the time? Maybe. Oh yeah. So it turns out that I told the story all wrong. It was a different, it was the earlier cruise that I went on that my brothers weren't born yet. My brother was born. Thomas was born. The one I said was in my mom's belly was born. And my youngest brother was born, but he was real young. So it was, it was an earlier cruise that we went on that they, were, they weren't born yet. So anyways, so it, there were six of us. And so they the boat said that they're not going to just stop for six of us. So the, like we'd have to find a way, like another boat to bring us out there. And then we could get on the boat from that. So there was these local men. The fuck? Okay, let's see if this will work. I don't want it going down there. I guess it's not really that big deal. So there was these local men that had like this little, if 
fucking dinghy basically with a motor attached to it small boat that uh so we went up to them and we you know told them our problem and stuff and in their Jamaican accent I'm not even going to attempt to do a Jamaican accent because it's going to be terrible but uh Actually, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. I was going to do it for a second, but I'm not. Um, so he was, you know, they were like, yeah, w w we could bring you out there. But for like a thousand bucks. And my dad was like, uh, we don't have a thousand bucks, dude. And he, he like kept, you know, going back and forth with them. And then we see another family running over to the dock. And obviously, we realized what happened. Like, they also, uh, um, they also missed the boat. So it kind of was like a, my dad told me later that it was like a relief, kind of sign of relief that we weren't the only ones. So my dad and the father of this other family were talking to these local dinghy owners, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call them. And, um, they came to agreement where it was like, I think my dad paid like $125 and their family paid like $125. So, but my dad didn't have $125 on him. Don't know why we were on vacation. I think his wallet was, I guess, was on the boat. So, the harbor captain had to contact the boat and say, we need you guys to get $150 together to pay these people and then the, my dad Frank also Frank would will pay you back once he gets his wallet that's on the boat which is like crazy like we had to ask his people to try to like they slowed the boat down a little bit and then we had to ask them for fucking money to get back on which is ridiculous but I guess it's kind I mean they did leave without us don't you have to like check for people and stuff like why would you leave without like you don't have to count heads and stuff maybe they miscounted I don't know but yeah so or they he, my dad comes to agree with this guy and uh, see every time I open this shit I can't think <sighs> I'm just gonna not even tr attempt to think and talk while I do this So my dad attempts to, my dad comes to agreement with the J local Jamaican guys that own the dinghy. And so we get in this little dinghy with, there's six of us and I think there's four of the other family. And this small little boat and we got to go like a mile. Like obviously you could see the cruise ship because it's a big boat, but it's like a mile out. So we have to travel like about a mile to get to this boat in this little get to the cruise ship in this little boat and um once we get there the wake of the cruise ship is pushing our boat away so it's hard to like get in to the boat where the boat is and then once we get there we pull up and like two stories high two stories high is um a rope ladder rope and wood ladder that they they roll out two stories of it and the deck hands on the boat, they like se some of them semi climb down to help like little kids up. <laughs> so my brother Thomas, he this is the reason I remember that he, they were actually born. He is the first one to get up, go try to go up. No, no, fuck. My sister Gabby is the first one to go up, but she is scared. She's scared this whole time. She's freaking out. She's like 13. She's a girl. Oh, wait. I shouldn't say that. Sorry. Um, But she fr she's freaking out. And <sighs> so she's climbing up this. She starts climbing up this thing. You know, the guys are helping her. She's freaking out. And then we pull away because the, the wake of the cruise ship p pushes us away. And she's just on this little rope ladder. It wasn't that little, but on this rope ladder. 
just in the middle of the ocean and you could clear blue ocean so you could see like fish swimming in the ocean and stuff just a crazy sight and so we get back next to the boat she finishes climbing next is my brother thomas he for some reason his he you said not care about anything and he was like i got this he just climbs right up some guy tries to help him he slaps his hand away <laughs> and he goes i can do it myself and um he's always been like that sassy kid that's like independent person but so then my brother nicholas is up next I'm the oldest boy of our family, so I guess that's why I went first. I don't know why no one, none of the kids on the other family, they went after us for some reason. I don't know. So, then my brother Nicholas goes up, and he's super young. He's maybe two years old. Yeah, he's probably two years old. My brother's five years old. Um, yeah, I'm ten. Fuck. Fuck you. I'm 10 and my sister's like 13 or 14 so okay I can't every time I open that fucking chest I, I can't think. um so Yeah, so my little brother starts going up. My little brother Nicholas, and if they like the deck hands that are on the rope ladder, they kind of just like hand them up, basically, no big deal. Then I go. Well, I I didn't really look like I was scared, but I didn't really look down, so it kind of was like no big deal. There was yeah, the guys were there helping us, so it was no big deal. And so before I went though, this is the craziest part. The, before I went for this um, back on the rope, as my brother um, Nicholas was getting thrown up, I look up and you see the entire cruise ship. People at windows, people at, out their windows of their rooms, people on the top deck and, and the lower deck, all just looking down at us, watching us, the entire cruise ship, which is pretty nuts i mean it's, it was cool but also like nerve-wracking at the same time because what if you like fell in the ocean that's what i was thinking about like what if i fall off and the boat hits me and i die and about like a couple thousand people witness it that's what i was thinking about didn't happen i survived you're welcome but uh yeah so then i go up my parent like the other kids go up then all the parents go up my parents have to like basically like kiss these people's feet because they did a lot for us to try to help us get back and so my yeah so then after this is all over my dad's like oh fuck like I gotta <laughs> I gotta go get a drink this was a stressful fucking day um so he goes up to the bar and then like people recognize like he had a ta he has a tattoo on his arm so people recognize uh his tattoo because they recognize him because of his tattoo and so like he he got drinks bought from the whole night and uh yeah so that was pretty cool so that's that story that's completely true by the way we missed the cruise ship of the boat carnival cruise line i wonder if there's like a record of that do you think boats keep records of that, like, publicly? Probably not public. But private, definitely. I don't know. I mean, it's probably not happened. That's probably not the first time that's happened. There's probably, like, one guy who fucked up counting. One of the deckhands or someone, whoever is in charge of counting, just fucked it up. Because they probably have to take a head count, right? Um... So yeah, that was that story. Now I'm gonna let's say let's do the story of Italy. I'm gonna just I'm this is a I was there for like 
nine days. A lot happened then, so I'm gonna just like graze over it, I guess. So, junior year of high school, I went to Italy, obviously, for my class trip. Um, so, we had junior prom the night, uh, not the night before, but like a couple of days before. Um, before we went on the trip, before it was either Easter break or spring break, or maybe that's the same break. I don't even know. But wait, this is boring. I'm gonna, I'm a mine, I guess. Let me get some pickaxes though. So we, yeah, a couple of days before Easter break, we went to couple days after prom what the fuck am I saying a couple days after prom we went um, to Italy we left to Italy which was oh such a long flight such a long flight nine hours in a flight like I'm a big dude you probably you might not be able to see it from the camera but I'm like six three like pretty broad and we were in whatever the lowest one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were in whatever the lowest class on the plane was. It was Air Italia. Which, to start with, is probably not a prestigious plane. So, airline, I should say. Um, so, yeah, I'm super uncomfortable for the entirety of the nine hours. And so I can't sleep. Um, and uh, so I'm awake this entire nine hours. But the person I'm sitting next to was my prom date, which was a couple days before. And oh, fuck. That, I didn't even see that. I hate fucking caverns like this. I can't get gold without an iron pickaxe, right? Yeah. I should have made an iron pickaxe. That was stupid. So who's sitting next to me on this plane is my prom date. And she, uh, ooh, uh, I thought that was a cave. I always get lost in these fucking things and then I have to like build my way up. All right, let me get back to this fucking story. Okay. So my prom date's sitting next to me and so that makes it a little bit better because like a couple of days before, you know, I just like kissed her for the first time or whatever. So it was like a newly forming, like it wasn't a relationship, but you know, whatever you want to call it thing is what we said in high school. They're a thing, which is so like not a label, but it's a label like that does. I don't know, whatever. So we were a thing. And, um, yeah, so it was, it was just, it made the trip up, up like that much cooler because, I mean, we're, we don't really talk, we actually, we did, we talk occasionally now, but we don't really. So her, um, yeah, so her being there made everything better, basically. Holy fuck, what the shit? How much fucking shit is there? I hate gravel. So the like the teachers on this trip were not like they were super like, oh, we gotta see everything, you know? Which I guess is true, but at the time like you kinda just wanna you don't want to sightsee all the time. You just want to like experience like what it's like to like as a high school kid. You want to just like walk around and do your own thing. You don't want to be told where we're going to see and stuff. You know what we're going to see. Um. So they were super like like right off we got the right after we got off the plane like there's a time difference. So right after we got, uh, how, where did I spawn or where did I land? 
So right after we got off the... Where the fuck did I land? Here we go, here we go, right? There it is, here it is. So right after we, we land, they're like making us go and um, sightsee right away because like it's daytime there. Um, and so like all of us are just tired and not into it and whatever. But they're making us go see shit anyways. And I forgot, I don't remember what we saw exactly. My memory of this was kind of hazy. But uh, yeah, so like every every two days we would go to another, can I mine this? I can, okay. Every two days, I think, two days or so, we would go to like a new location by like either boat or actually plane once we went got on a plane just to see this it's like just to go like i think oh yeah yeah oh, i just remembered a whole part of this whole thing i don't know how much of this intricate details i'm gonna tell you about this but fuck So after like the first day of like sightseeing and stuff, we were all just really tired and we go to the hotel and um, me and the kids I'm rooming with, the first hotel, I usually the, most of the time I roomed with like um, four people, but in this time I only roomed with one person and it was the person who I didn't even request to room with. So <laughs> we, we called him Slippery Steve because that that dinner that night of the dinner he like made a whole announcement of he was like he stood up and banged on his glass was like what's up everybody I'm, S I'm slippery Steve anyways yeah he gave a whole speech and stuff but uh yeah so that that night kind of sucked because I was in the room with someone I didn't even want to be in so it wasn't fun but uh the next day whew, I think we started in Rome. So the next day in Rome. Next day we went to Rome. I'm sorry. And. Yeah we saw like the Colosseum. And things like that. I guess I'm going to just finish this pickaxe. And then go back. Which I probably should do right now. Um, yeah, we saw the Colosseum, things like that, like uh, old ruins of old civilization areas and stuff like that. And um, one, two, okay. And uh, uh, I'm so bad at telling stories. Why did I choose to tell stories in this whole video? Um. Wow, what, what am I saying? What am I fucking saying? Yeah, so we saw all this stuff in, in Italy. And so that night, I, f I finally slept with... Oh, wait, actually. During the day, they... Like in Rome, they let us roam around. <laughs> that was stupid. Um, They let us roam around, like, by ourselves without, like, a guardian. Which is pretty cool. And so in Rome, the drinking age is 16. So <laughs> we, uh, we uh, end up, um, I, one of the first things we do is try to get cigars and, what the fuck was that? Cigars and alcohol. <laughs> and so I went to a Catholic school, so they were pretty strict about all this stuff. Which I'm sure they are in public schools, most public schools probably, but especially in Italy where you were allowed to buy alcohol. Um. So we first thing we did was try to buy get cigars and alcohol, <laughs> and so we ended up doing it. The alcohol there is 
like the the place that we went to i guess we didn't really realize where we we're going to but it had like a gas station -y type feel to it but it wasn't a gas station but it was like just like and it had weird types of alcohol and cigars and stuff so it wasn't any professional place where we got it all cheap so that night after we go back to the hotel go back to the hotel like the whole like our guardian our one of the teachers um checked our bags and stuff i forgot how we hit it i think hid the alcohol I, I think one of the kids had like this weird compartment to their backpack where he put the stuff in so we uh yeah so we tried to the, the why why do i have these just lapses in like what i'm saying it's re i'm just it's really hard to focus on this fuck all right i guess i gotta run all the way back okay so we had this um all this alcohol and cigars in our hotel room now tonight so this night we we go to uh we're, we're all rooming together the four people that i wanted to room with we ended up rooming together so it worked out pretty sweet and um yeah so we we get drunk and smoke cigars that night and then which is pretty awesome it was like i don't know just being in Italy, I guess, it was just, like, a cool feeling. I'm Italian, but I'm not really, like, super... I'm Italian and Czechoslovakian is what my parents tell me. I really want to do the, like, Ancestry.com thing or whatever it is, like, where you, like, give them DNA and then they test it. But, um... The... What am I doing? I can't do that. So yeah, it just the fact of being in Italy and stuff like that was just really cool. It was just better, cool to like drink in Italy, I guess, for some reason. Like everything was cooler in Italy, just because there's like stigmas about it or whatever. Stig, uh, not stigmas, but whatever. Um. Yeah. So the next day. I, we saw my sites and stuff like that and then we go to we took a um i guess we had tour buses basically not tour buses but like coach buses and that's how we got around like local locally it must have been such a headache putting this whole trip together i gotta get some meat i only eat meat oh i gotta get that sheep was that sheep? No. Um. So the next the next day we go to maybe the we, I think we stayed in Rome for two days. So then two days later we go to. Um, Naples. Which I'm pretty sure is not that far away. I don't I'm, I don't know if I remember it right, but it wasn't too far. There's another fucking village. Is this the same village? I don't think this is. This is this another fucking village. What the shit? I guess maybe because this is like the trial thing. They're trying to like show it off. Okay. Anyways, we go to Naples. And while we're in Naples, we drive to Naples. And then that day, as we're the day we drove there, we, uh, we walk around everywhere and stuff. Like we, you know, we sightsee again. I don't, like, I don't, who knows what we really saw? Beats? What? Um, so we saw sight saw right yeah and so that that day our bus got gets robbed our yeah like our coach bus that all of our stuff like not all of our stuff but, um, no you know not all of our stuff because we went to the hotel first so a bunch of our stuff gets stolen i actually had my backpack with me so 
so I didn't get anything stolen, but a lot of people got like their iPads, cameras, stuff like that stolen. Med medication, people, because they just took the bags, the backpacks that were left on there, and so people's medications got stolen and stuff like that. So I thought it was an Enderman. All the teachers that night had to deal with all that. Like they had a call. What? What the fuck? Alright, I guess I'm just gonna tell this part of the story and get over with it. So, yeah, the teachers that night had to deal with all that. So, a bunch of the teachers were occupied, and then after that, they got tired. So, at dinner, there was only like one or two supervisors, like looking around. Wait, can I? Oh, I can. What the fuck? That was stupid. All right, I guess I could just walk around now. I can't break shit. I can't actually interact. Um, so, I guess I gotta buy the whole game now. Yeah, so that night, oh, can I die from a creeper? And not be able to kill it? That would be fucking retarded. Oh, I can, I can fight shit, okay. That's cool, but a glitch. I don't know. I don't want to do. I don't want to fucking enderman. So yeah, then at dinner, all the there was only two guardians because all the other teachers were dealing with shit. And um, I like act like I'm just going to the bathroom. I don't tell anyone. I didn't have to tell anyone, but I just act like I was going to the bathroom. And I whoa, I ended up like. I just I, I had this feeling that like it was like this really like family f like owned hotel and stuff like that there was no security it wasn't like a um it wasn't like a uh, holiday inn or something like established place you know I can't, I can't eat okay yeah so it wasn't like an established place or anything so I had this feeling that like a lot of like that areas that you're not really allowed to go in like an actual hotel are you you just can because there's just like their regulations are not the same i guess in italy so i tried to get to the roof i tried looking for the roof and then i ended up finding it like you know you just i just went up like a couple flights of stairs then there's this other weird hallway that i went down <laughs> and then this door just led you right up to another flight of stairs and then they had this lost and found area and then right outside the door was the roof and it was a, like a six seven story building in the heart of Naples which is like a like a you know one of the major cities in Italy so I'm saying this major area in Italy and it's nighttime and you can just see like all the different lights of all the buildings and right by the harbor and just thinking about you know, this is where like famous artists and stuff like came because Naples was like a trading area, you know, in back in the day. So, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I don't. Uh, you fuck. See, this is why these fuckers are so annoying. Oh, I can build still. All right, this is weird. Um. So just like looking out and thinking about like all this history was just so awesome. And then so like the girl, you know, my prom date, I uh, go back to dinner and I tell her about it. So then she, then we both act like we're done with dinner and we act like we're going to our rooms, but we don't because there's only two guardians again on duty. So they don't really aren't, can't really pay attention to everybody. And, uh, so we end up, both of us going to the roof, you know, and, you know, we did what a thing would do up there. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm just thinking about it. It's pretty, it was pretty awesome. Yeah. So then night passes on. We still have alcohol, more alcohol, or maybe we got more. I don't know. 
and but I just can't break blocks I guess or and use food so stupid that I can't break blocks yeah so then I go back to my roommates and stuff and we I tell them about it because they're all in the room like getting ready to like you know drink again and I tell them about it so then some of them two of my roommates were too scared to do it but one of my roommates was totally down and then we went with people in the room next to us too two people from that room too so I tell them about it and we all sneak up to the roof while everyone's sleeping that night and drink and smoke cigars <laughs> in like the heart of Naples and it was just this dope dope night I still have videos of it on my phone and it was just like I don't know how to how to uh, describe it for you people but it was just like a great uh, experience like you just thought about life for some reason I don't know why but it just like it really made, made you think like the moon was beautiful that night it was just a really awesome experience yeah so that's my story uh, day two on Minecraft give me some suggestions for what you want the story to be next time or maybe like a topic that we can talk about Something like that. Yeah. Okay.